there was indication that some meters had staining from dust and moisture in the bottom of the meter. No indication was found that would suggest that the meter installation caused any of the destructive failures. I would point out that of the eight failed meters, five of them were installed by journeyman linemen or electricians, three were installed by competent electrical workers. Indication of very significant precipitation preceding the meter fires was found. In 2014, the rate of SAS power meter failures was not significantly greater than the historical average. However, census meters were involved in a substantial portion of these failures. There is some danger with destructive meter failures and potential resulting fires. There is no evidence that overvoltage caused the meters to fail destructively. In view of the above, we are of the opinion that moisture and contaminants within the meter has been a major factor in the meter failures and ensuing fires.